Hello everyone, welcome to 2D Board Gamers. My name is Dave, and today we're going to continue my pool series. Now that we have a new hero, Jubilee, uh, we will continue with her. And the villain we left off would be Apocalypse. Um, so since this is the second round with the villains, I'm doing different optional modules. So I threw in Arcade, um, which is the encounter set that comes with her. And also Exodus, because uh, we get to do two modules. So those are two that were not used before. Um, yeah, this is going to be a little scary matchup, um, but we'll see how it goes. So first of all, let's take a look at the deck. <clears throat> all right. So first of all, as always, we've got her signature 15. And then I kind of thought ally spam might be a way to go, so I kind of threw in a lot of cheap allies. So we got Blade. We got Beak. We got Forge. We got Ironheart. We got Lockjaw. Now, Lockjaw is not cheap, but, you know, we can play him out of the, the discard pile. And we got Professor X. All right. Then we've got three copies of the new event Multi-Talented that came in her kit. We got two copies of The Power of All of Us. We got a Crew Quarters. We got a Stefford Cuckoos. We got an X Gene. We got Downtime. And we got Endurance. All right. So speed is of the essence for taking these things down. But I did throw in a pool inspection in case the main scheme gets out of control and I can hopefully thwart a bunch. I got, I got this since we're always going to have acceleration tokens. Um, I figured, yeah, this will remove threat. So that's good. Plus, it's got the other abilities. Cut upper. Now, stage three apocalypse is steady. And stage four is stalwart. But this could be good against the uh, prelates or, you know, stage three apocalypse. The bomb, because if I take out of Apocalypse Stage 3, then I can remove all the threat from the main. Get in front of me. This cancels the treachery card. Get ragey. The three pool resources. Get good. Since I won as magic, this will cost me two. healing factor and stick to it in this all right and with that let's get to the table all right we're at the table apocalypse is steady and tough he's a two three when the main scheme is defeated um, he'll flip to stage four heart of the empire is how we win by um Removing the, the threat and getting this down, but the only way to remove threat is when there's no prelate. We're going to start with the prelate in play, and if Apocalypse gets defeated, then we remove the threat from the main. Okay, so let's see which prelate we start with. Up oh, six, we'll reroll one. So we're going to start with Abyss. All right. So Abyss, it comes in tough. He's a 2-2. Two, two. Abyss gets plus two hit points for each face down card attached to him engage, and engages the first player. After Abyss activates against you, attach the top card of your deck face down. Oh, goody. And then we'll shuffle the encounter deck. Shuffle my deck. 
and we'll see how it goes. All right, two, four, six. Healing factors, nice Wolverine. Ooh, Wolverine would be nice. Endurance would be nice. And healing factor would be nice. I'm gonna mulligan three cards. One, two, three. Ah, I was hoping for some resources. Okay. Um we do go get shopping spree. Spin two for Ironheart, which will draw me a card. And we'll do three for a healing factor. Ironheart's going to knock his tough off. flip and I'm going to hit Abyss for one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we had two threat. Apocalypse is going to hit me for three. I'll use Ironheart. Abyss is going to hit me for two and attach the top card which now he's got seven hit points, so he's got six left. I'm going to do one, two, three. Multi-talented, so basically we're doing one of everything. So I heal two, I deal two, and I remove two threat. And I'll do a point of damage to him, so he is now four out of seven. But he's going to activate against me again. All right, I'm going to mulligan or discard that. Three, four, five. We add two threat. He's attacking me for three, five. He hits me for two. Gets another encounter, another card under him. So now he's at, he's got five health left. Welcome to Murder World, which has got two and Hazard. So he's got five left. Okay. We're going to use Plasmoid Energy for a Firecracker. We're going to deal four damage, so that brings him up to eight. And we get to stun him. So he won't activate this turn. Um... And I'm one resource short for that. So we're going to get my coat, which gives me plus one port. Yeah, we'll thwart for two. And then we got to flip down. Oh, well, that doesn't do me any good. Stunning him then. Is this every time he activates? After he activates, oh. Well, I have to, had to go down. Oh, I got healing fact. Well, so I guess I have two more hit points. All right, not that it matters. So one, two, three, four, five. 
We had two threat. He is going to scheme against me for three. He schemes for two. So that's eight. So now he's got 11 hit points. So he's got, he was at eight of nine. Now he's eight of 11. All right, so he's got three hit points left. First encounter card is the Apocalypse Solution. And Herald of Avalon, the player defeats us. Wow, okay. Yep, I think this is not going to work out too good. No downtime? I do not. I am going to take a recovery. And then I'm going to flip up. Can I play both those cards? No. I can play that, though. All right, so we're going to spend two for Firecracker. We're going to do four damage, which will kill the kill Abyss. I get these cards back. Yeah, we're not surviving this turn. Um, oops, I picked the wrong. Oh, I pitched that last turn, I guess. Oh, darn it. I'm one resource short for that as well. Oh, healing factor kicks in. Oh, I did this. Is this my attack? Oh, no, that's the thwarter. Oh. Bummer. The attacker's in my hand. <clears throat> All right, well, this is going nowhere fast here. Uh, draw three cards. We add two threats, so this will advance. So that means he advances to stage four. This resets to one. Oh no, I mean remove ten. Um, but now he's stalwart instead of steady. Okay. And when the main scheme is complete, the players lose the game. And we have a crisis. Oh goody. Okay. So then he schemes for five. And my first of three encounter cards. Uh, psionic Shield, Touch the Minion, Gain Surge, Master Plan, so they all get a bunch of threat on them, Shadows, and an Assault. Boy. All right. So we get Nanny, who's tough. We get another Crisis, which I can't get rid of right now. Those three get shuffled in. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to pull out of this hole that I'm in. All right, he attacks me for three, five. Okay. So I can play two to get my sunglasses out. Healing factor will heal me two. And after you play an attack event, exhaust Jubilee Sunglasses and choose an enemy. Deal one damage to that enemy for each different resource type you use to play for that event. Okay. So first I'm going to attack Nanny. No. Forget Nanny. Well. Oh, it's a thwart anyways. Um, 
confuse an enemy. Well, he's stalwart, so. So the thwarting one is removing two more threat. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll do flash of light to get rid of the apocalyptic solution, which is discard top X cards where X is the number. Okay, so we discard 11 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Exhaust the coat. Choose a scheme. Remove one threat from the scheme for each different resource. So I use two. So we get rid of this. Place one threat here for each. Oh, I didn't place threat here for the resources that I had. Oh. Uh, I had five. So there was five total. And I get to remove two of it. Okay. And Nanny's still around. Apocalypse is still around. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to get three encounter cards. Yeah. We're doomed. All right. We had two threat. Uh, he's attacking me for three, four, five, so I have one hit point left. Three encounter cards. First one is Surge Reveal, so more encounter cards. Attach the minion with the fewest remaining hit points. Otherwise, attach minion gets plus three hit points in Ariel, so Nanny now can fly. Uh, Wolf Among Sheeps, the Prelate Minion, activate, otherwise Apocalypse, that activates against me. Okay, and that, that will kill me. All right. Well, yeah. I just don't think Jubilee Pool can handle Apocalypse. He's just too much is coming out at once. So I'm just going to call it at this point. So, yeah, that was a very short video. Pretty quick defeat. Um, yeah, I just, I've tried several times. I've modified the deck a few times. It's just, I just don't see it happening. So I'm going to call it. Uh, next pool series video will be when Nightcrawler comes out. And, which will be in September, should be September. Um, the villain should be the Brotherhood of the Doom, I believe. Yes. So the Brotherhood of Badoon. And we get one modular set. So I will throw in the Crazy Gang, which is a modular set that comes in the Nightcrawler pack. So uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Please like and subscribe. Hey everyone, if you like that, we got more videos. There should be one here, there should be one over here, and you can subscribe down here. Thank you.